Hi there, my name is Kepi Kate, and welcome back to Hive Clan, where we have Honey Paw. So we are officially a queen's apprentice. We're trying to learn the ways as Turtle Pelt, our mentor, is teaching us currently. So let's give our mother a chat for a moment. Hey, Honey Paw, is everything all right? I can tell you've had a hard day. Come here, you can tell me all about it. Log Whisker pulls you close and wraps their tail around you like they did when you were in the nursery. Their soft purr reminds you that even at your age, it's okay to still need your parents sometimes. I'm so glad that we've all been getting along together because as you may have seen in the last episode, Cone Paw was taken from us. They passed away from the shock of what they experienced on an herb patrol all by themselves because our mother was injured with a sprain. They saw a mother and her kits growing cold after passing away from a rough childbirth. The shock of it was too much for Cone Paw, and unfortunately, they passed the very next moon. Pumpkin Paw has been reminiscing with us over good memories, and our mother has been such a comfort to us just in this moon. Let's chat with Pumpkin Paw again. Honey Paw, look up there. You look up to see a small bug fluttering around camp. It lands on your tail and Pumpkin Paw laughs delightedly. Whoa, think we should keep him as a pet? He can be like our new little brother. We'll feed him, take care of him. He can sleep in my nest to stay warm at night. You dispute that the bug should sleep in your nest since he landed on you. <laughs> How about we alternate every other day? The two of you playfully bicker about the details of your custody over the bug. You laugh so hard your tail trembles and the bug flies away, never to be seen again. Ha! <laughs> See what you did? You're not fit to raise him. Aw, oh, Pumpkin Paw, that's not very nice. <laughs> that was a very funny encounter. I've never seen that one before. Very cute. Now we're chatting with Turtle Pelt. Turtle Pelt is snuggled up with their newest litter, Sleeping. When Serpent Kit stirs, they lick their head until they fall back asleep. What a beautiful family. Oh, <laughs> that makes me so happy. Now let's watch Turtle Pelt do their thing. Oh, Berry Kit, why are you so precious? All right, Turtle Pelt is going to tell a story. As Turtle Pelt tells a story about a clan cat who helped others in need, Berry Kit listens intently, eyes wide and admiration. Oh, I hope we can do as well as Turtle Pelt did. Let's give it a try. Let's pick Stumpy Kit, that's adorable, and tell them a story. It did not work. Oh, we're so bad at this, this is a problem. <laughs> Honey Paw tells a story about a cat facing their fears in the dangers of war. But halfway through, Stumpy Kit begins crying, terrified. Honey Paw has to take a break from story time to comfort them. Maybe stories of war isn't a good idea, Honey Paw. I'm just saying. That's probably a conversation Turtle Pelt is going to have with Honey Paw. Like, hmm, you might want to avoid the dark tales for now. <laughs> We're still learning, but we have so many kits that we can practice on before we ourselves become a full-fledged queen and can start adopting our own kits. Now, onwards. Oh, so we had this happen again where a queen was worried about their kit's mobility. And so Honey Paw suggests to try some exercises. Despite trying those exercises, there's no noticeable difference in the kit's progress. So this is the first time we failed at this one. Dark Dapple and Pumpkin Paw go back to a training session. It is almost dawn when the deputy rouses Pumpkin Paw for their assessment. They are meant to find Dark Dapple posing as an enemy warrior somewhere in the territory and handle the situation. Dark Dapple could be anywhere. Pumpkin Paw was already awake and raring to go. They run off before the deputy can say anything. It is just a game of hide and seek after all. When they find Dark Dapple, they have to stifle their chitters of excite excited pleasure. Dark Dapple must have heard them because Pumpkin Paw sees their whiskers twitching in amusement. Oh well, they gleefully charge forward. Oh, how cute! Now let's see how our mother does, our poor mother going out alone. Log Whisker notices that the moss in the medicine den is getting old. They need to go and gather some more. Mouse dung. 
When Log Whisker gets to the best moss gathering spot, they find that some animal has dug up most of the moss. They'll have to leave the rest to repopulate before gathering from the spot again. As the dusk settles, painting the world with shades of twilight, the clan encircles you. Their murmurs a gentle lullaby. Fernstar steps forth, locking eyes with you, a shared nod of understanding, and you advance, your paws steady. The touch of Fernstar's nose to your head honors your dedication to the well-being of the young. With a chorus of approval from the clan, you are celebrated as the new permanent queen, entrusted with the future of Hive Clan. Oh, we did it! <laughs> and we were given the name Honeytail, which is actually pretty cute. That wasn't the one that I had picked out, but I think I would really enjoy having y'all's suggestions down in the comments. Should we keep the name Honeytail for the next episode? Do you have a better suggestion? I was wanting to name her Honeybee really bad. <laughs> But Honeytail is pretty cute. We'll keep it for now until we decide whether we should go with one of y'all's suggestions instead. Mother, how does this keep happening? Hive Clan does not have enough healthy medicine cats. Uh oh. Young Honeypot is ready to embrace their role as a queen earlier than many expected. The clan gathers to offer support and blessings for their new journey. Pumpkin Paw has excelled at every task placed before them. Despite their young age, they are more than ready to be a warrior. They are given the name Pumpkin Fur, honoring their friendliness. I bet they're very disappointed about that name. <laughs> they really wanted Pumpkin Claw. <laughs> Eager to learn the best ways to help their clan thrive, Gold Paw excitedly touches noses with Pumpkin Fur. What? Our sister excelled so well that she already has an apprentice. That's impressive. Fernstar hopes their litter will be small. They feel overwhelmed at the idea of a big litter. Dark Dapple announced they are expecting kits. Life goes on for now. They'll move into the nursery, but not this moon. Sootseed announced that they're expecting kits. They're still full of energy and moving to the nursery would feel stifling. Maybe next moon. And then Serpent Kit unfortunately died of green cough. Oh, poor Serpent Kit. I bet Turtle Pelt is devastated. Honeytail wants to spend more time with Sootseed. Fernstar appreciates Honeytail telling them that they had a feather stuck to their face. Blue Cinder ignores Honeytail. Blue Cinder, that's not very nice. Bird Kit bickered about something trivial with Honeytail. As for health, Fierce Flight has gotten a runny nose. Bull Stripe misstepped and slipped from a rock, dislocating a joint. Ow. We unfortunately know about the loss of Serpent Kit. Tempest Kit woke up with a mild headache, but got up to play anyways, trying to ignore the nagging pain. A rogue waits at the border for a patrol asking to join the clan. The rogue decides to keep their old name, Pepsi. Love it. <laughs> Ebony Shade leaps up at a flying bug they found around camp and catches it with grace. They wear the mint moth wing proudly. Oh, very cool. As sad as it is, I really wanted to check on Cone Paw up in Star Clan. They regret leaving the clan with one medicine cat short. I kind of wonder if Cone Paw, having been so sensitive to those that have passed, if they could figure out a way to communicate with us or even our sister or maybe even our mom because our mom is the medicine cat. I kind of hope that happens. Onward. Let's talk to our mom. Honeytail, hey, are you busy? Listen, I, I just need someone to talk to and you're the only cat I can talk to. Oh, mom. I'm, listen, what do you think happens when we leave the living and we join Star Clan? I wonder what that's like. I'm less worried about the pain and more, will I be missed by Hive Clan after I leave? I'm not the most talkative cat in the world, and that makes me worry that I've never made an impact to anyone. Huh? A mouse brain? You're telling me that I worry too much? Yeah, I suppose that's true. It's what I'm good at, I suppose, getting caught in myself. You'd miss me? Oh, Honeytail, thank you. You have no idea how much that means to me. 
It sometimes seems like you're the only cat who looks for me in a room. Yeah, I'll be okay. I'm just in a little funk at the moment. Do you want to go hunting? I think that'd be better than me sitting here feeling sorry for myself. Oh my gosh, our relationship with our mother is so beautiful. This is, this is gorgeous. I love this. I want to draw art of Log Whisker and Honey Paw, or now Honey Tail, together. Let's talk to our sister. Psst, Honey Tail. I heard a rumor that Log Whisker totally has a crush on Fleet Kestrel. Isn't that crazy? Uh, where did you hear that from? Uh, well, you see, uh, hmm. You're no fun at all. They totally made that up. Goodness, you shouldn't be starting rumors about our mom, Pumpkin Fur. Goodness. Stick to your own business. All right, Turtle Pell, I hope you're doing all right. Let's have a chat. I've been told I lack tact. Honestly, I see it as a service. At least you know where you stand with me. I just believe in being straightforward. Saves time and energy. That's not a bad way of thinking, actually. <laughs> All right, Turtle Pelt, show us how it's done. We may be a full-fledged queen, but having a little extra training isn't so bad. Let's try a play fight. Uh-oh, looks like Turtle Pelt didn't do as well, but Turtle Pelt did just lose one of their kits. So maybe they're not feeling as into it today. Squirrel Kit cries and buries themselves in their nest after losing in a play fight. Oh no! Let's see if we can do any better. Let's try with Squirrel Kit again. Maybe we can try and cheer them up. Nope! We messed that up too. <laughs> As Honey Kit recounts a story about a misunderstood loner, Squirrel Kit laughs and makes jokes, showing little regard for the character's situation. <laughs> Squirrel Kit. Oh no. How badly are we messing up this cat? Oh dear. <laughs> oh, that's just the way it is, I suppose. A kit has gone missing from the nursery. You need to organize a search. Despite the frantic search, it's an elder who eventually finds the kit. Oh no. We just got our name and we're like, did we actually earn our name? I'm not sure. <laughs> well, now it's time to follow Pumpkin Fur. Let's send them on a training patrol with Goldpaw. It is almost dawn when the deputy rouses Goldpaw for their assessment. Ooh. They are meant to find Pumpkin Fur posing as an enemy warrior somewhere on the territory and handle the situation. So Pumpkin Fur just went through this uh, in her apprenticeship right before she became a warrior. So let's see how Goldpaw does. Sluggishly, Goldpaw heads out into the territory to find Pumpkin Fur. By the time the sun starts to set, they are about to lose hope. However, they spot Pumpkin Fur nibbling on a pigeon's wing. Imagining an enemy warrior, Goldpaw attacks Pumpkin Fur and catches them off guard. After a brief tussle, Pumpkin Fur admits defeat and guides Goldpaw home. Wow! So Goldpaw actually came through on that. I wonder if Pumpkin Fur wasn't expecting Goldpaw to do that since it took so long. Now we're following our mother. The cold of Leaf Bear might have killed off a lot of greenery, but Log Whisker knows that the dandelions are only playing dead. If they can get their paws on a plant, the roots will still hold fresh, milky white sap. It's a truly miserable gray day, but even the colds of Leaf Bear can't dampen Log Whisker's joy when they manage to uncover a couple good dandelion plants. Unfortunately, the rest of the patrols went very badly. All of our cats went out on a hunting patrol and none of them came back with prey. It's possible that Leaf Bear is especially hard this year, but without prey and with a clan growing with so many kits and so many cats expecting kits, it could get dangerous. So I'm hoping the patrols improve, especially as New Leaf comes in. On to the next moon. So mom is sick again. Eagle Kit loudly complains as Ebony Shade pulls them over to quickly groom their pelt. They manage to wriggle away and scurry off to the front of the crowd for their ceremony, where they are renamed to Eagle Paw and apprenticed to Pepsi. Ooh, so Pepsi must have shown some promise if they got an apprentice so quickly. Fernstar and Vesta are excited to raise their new single kitten as friends. Aw, I love that. 
Dark Dapple is unsure how many kits they'll have, pregnancy sucks, Dark Dapple gives in and moves into the nursery. Sootseed hopes their litter will be small. They feel overwhelmed by the idea of a big litter, can't blame them. They don't believe they can efficiently perform their duties while expecting kits and decide to move to the nursery. Honeytail is always happy to be around Fernstar. I'm glad we have a good relationship with our leader. I want to actually look at relationships once we hit 12 moons. Turtle Pelt heard Honeytail say something mean. Honeytail. Brush Whisker doesn't understand why Honeytail is being so rude. What is going on? <laughs> Bird Kit is sharing tongues with Honeytail. Honeytail must have been in a really bad mood one day and was just complaining about everything. <laughs> A brush whisker feels much better. Their soreness is gone. This is good. Tempest Kit feels relieved at the lack of pain in their head. Their headache seems to have finally gone away, but Goldpaw did get a runny nose. And it is now New Leaf. This is good. Hopefully hunting patrols will be a little better than it was the last moon. Let's talk to our mother. Ah, have you seen TK Honeytail? No? They're growing up so fast. I just couldn't be more proud. I'm sorry. Who's TK? What? What? Is that a bug? What happened? Is there a cat named TK? Is Confuzzled? Maybe it's Tempest Kit. TK? Tempest Kit? That could be it. That could be it. I think, I think mom was talking about Tempest Kit. Let's go with that. <laughs> Let's talk to our sister. What was that special thing that Log Whisker used to do with mice when we were kids? I'm having such a hard time remembering. Oh, Star Clan, I just remembered. They used to cut them up before giving it to us. <laughs> that it was a little gross, but sweet too. Is it weird that I kind of miss it? Aw, we're such a good family. Oh, I miss Conepa so much. Conepa is organizing Star Clan's herb collection. Aw, that is cute. That is really cute. Let's chat with Turtle Pelt. Turtle Pelt is talking in their sleep. Mm. What? 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 Oh my gosh! <laughs> um, I feel like we shouldn't have witnessed that. I didn't know that Turtle Pelt and Dark Dapple were uh, a thing. Apparently I was wrong. Does this say that they're mates? No. Oh boy. <laughs> oh dear. Well, uh... Once they wake up, they're going to show us how to take care of kits. Let's do moss ball, see if that works. Oh, good. Their minus one was fixed. Stumpy Kit bravely charges at Turtle Pelt to take the moss ball, stealing it from under their paws and winning the round of the game. Hopefully we can do just as well. All right, Honeytail, now's your chance. Let's try a scavenger hunt with Berry Kit. <gasps> We did it! During a scavenger hunt, Berry Kit's quick thinking leads them to the hidden items in no time. Aw, oh, that's good. We had a good day as a queen. Now for patrols. One of the kits has developed a cough. You need to decide on the best course of action. While you try some traditional remedies, the kit's condition doesn't improve, so I'm assuming we'll take them to our mom. Pumpkin Fur and Gold Paw are now going to try their first hunting patrol together. Your patrol comes across a mouse, but then narrowly misses said mouse. Uh oh, it looks like Gold Paw is having a hard time settling in, but Pumpkin Fur is also being a bit clumsy on patrols. She is very young, so she may not be sure of how to teach just yet, and it's causing her to trip up on her own responsibilities. So after a few moons have passed, Log Whisker is going to try and replace the moss and the medicine den once again. Log Whisker quickly makes their way to the best moss patch they know. They spend a bit of time slicing bits off with their claws, careful not to get any roots or dirt in the pile. Once they're satisfied, they take a moment to wrap their jaws around the heap, then makes their way back to camp. So moss was gathered this patrol. Oh no! So Brush Whisker has also been taken by two legs. These two legs are very, very determined to catch the cats. So we might have to start not proceeding on these in particular. They have so many traps set out. Our cats have got to be more careful. On to the next one. And we are officially an adult! 
Yes, this means that if any kits come into the clan abandoned or if something awful happens to their parents, we can start adopting those kits. So our mom, I don't think our mom is sick. I think we just have too many cats for the clan because mom hasn't been sick for a bit. We just need more medicine cats. You ask a cedar kit to place their paw in a patch of wet mud. When the mud dries, they'll have a way to see how much they have grown over the moons by comparing the size of their paw prints. What a cool, oh my gosh, the writers for this game. I never would have thought of that. How beautiful is that? You watch as a kit dares another to eat a slug. You walk over to them and lecture them about the dangers of eating snails, but they don't seem to listen. Uh-oh. You ask Hazel Kit to place their paw. Aww, so we're keeping track of all the kit's growth. I just love that. Interested in herbs even in their kithood, Rosie Paw is eager to be apprenticed to Log Whisker. Finally, a medicine cat apprentice. Bird Paw has reached the age of six moons and has been made an apprentice. And Tempest Paw strides up to their new mentor, looking very proud and excited to be apprenticed by Fleet Kestrel. Dark Dapple had a litter of two kits, but refused to talk about their origin. And no one knows who Sootseed has had their litter of two kits with, but they seem very happy watching over their little offspring in the nursery. So four more kits have joined the clan. Now, these kits belong to cats, so they are not adoptable. But this clan is really lucky with kits. I don't understand why Antler Clan isn't that lucky. I wish they were. Makes me kind of sad. Now for relationships, Honeytail wishes they could get their pelt to shine like Clover Kits. Uh-oh. Volstripe admires Honeytail's dedication. Well, thank you, Volstripe. Blue Sender thinks Honeytail has a strange sense of humor. Oh, dear. Turtle Pelt has gotten a runny nose. We know about Dark da Dapple's kits. Volstripe recovered from their dislocated joint, but then they weren't watching where they were going and tripped over a small trunk, gaining a few bruises. Ebony Shade was moving some branches out of the way when they got a splinter. And then Soot Seed also had two kits. So let's talk to our mom again. Talking to mom every day, I'm determined. I keep reliving that moment when I made a fool of myself at the last gathering. Do you think the other clans are still laughing at me? You reassure Log Whisker that no one probably remembers. Oh, you think so? I guess that's a little reassuring. No, they probably don't. And even if they are laughing about it, who cares? <laughs> Look at Pumpkin Fur! She grew up to be so pretty. Honeytail, I swear, sometimes it's like we're trapped here. We never chose to be Hive Clan cats. It's just something we were born into. What if we would have been happier as loners or rogues? No one to tell us what to do or where to go or what to think. Just free to be ourselves and do whatever we please. It's a great big world out there and I want to experience everything it has to offer. But instead, we're stuck here inside the territory, not allowed to venture out, not allowed to question. Sometimes I think I'm the only one in the whole clan that's like this. Do you ever feel the same way? I don't think Honeytail would. I think that she takes her responsibility very seriously. She is a responsible cat. I don't think she would have the same feelings. How are you doing, Turtle Pelt? Oh, hello, Honeytail. Are you checking in on the kits today? They're really so lovely. I know the others will tell you kits are annoying, but it's worth it. You should have seen Goldpaw as a kit. They were so cute. One time, they Birdpaw passes by the nursery at this time and drops a mouthful of moss on the floor as they rush in. Oh, hello, Eaglepaw. I was just telling Honeytail about what you were like as a kit. What do you mean, don't? There's no need to be embarrassed. I think it was adorable. <laughs> yes, I love it. Oh, I love it. Oh, we have so few kits now. All right, who needs the most help? Anybody with minuses? Yes, you. You need help. Let's try Moss Ball. Oh, we're getting so much worse. Oh no, Squirrel Kit. Squirrel Kit is in danger <laughs> of being the worst cat ever. As Turtle Pelt and Squirrel Kit play Moss Ball, Squirrel Kit accidentally sends the ball flying towards another cat, hitting them in the side. Squirrel Kit doesn't apologize at all as they retrieve the ball. Oh no. Oh no. Turtle Pelt, 
Turtle Belt, we got problems. We gotta fix this. All right, Honeytail, maybe you can fix it. I don't know. Okay, Moss Ball didn't work. Let's let's try. Maybe you need a stern lecture. During Honeytail's lecture on clan history, Squirrel Kit is completely engrossed, asking insightful questions that Honeytail tries their best to answer. Oh, it's a lecture on history. Oh, that's cool. I like that a lot better than a lecture on your bad attitude, even though I think you need it. To be honest, Squirrel Kit, I'm gonna be real with you, bub. I'm gonna be real. Look at all the babies. All right, we're quickly gonna do some patrols and then that will be all the time I have. During a fierce storm, water starts to seep into the nursery. You need to find a way to keep the kits dry and warm. Despite your best efforts, some kits still end up cold and wet. Oof. I'm not really gonna worry about romance right now. I haven't even looked at the relationships and we're still just an adult, like just there. <laughs> Gold Paw and Pumpkin Fur will now go on a border patrol. Your patrol tracks the scent of a large dog wandering along the edge of the clan's territory. We are not going to proceed. Your patrol decides not to pursue such a dangerous creature, especially seeing as it hasn't crossed the border. Hopefully it doesn't get into our prey stores. I'm going to cross my fingers on that one. Now for our mother and her new apprentice. Log Whisker uses the blustery new leaf morning to try and catch the scent of wild garlic on the breeze, encouraging Rosie Paw to try the technique. The leaves and especially the bulbs of wild garlic are the, are the permanent herb to treat infection, even if using them results each time in either their patient or their loved ones complaining about the smell. Log Whisker teaches Rosie Paw that sometimes they need to prioritize treatment of their patients above listening to them. I did say I would look at relationships, so here we go. It looks like we do have a lot of like, respect, comfort, and trust for Soot Seed. Same with Turtle Pelt. Of course, we have a lot of platonic love for our mother. It seems we actually like Dark Dapple as well. Of course, we have a lot of platonic love for our sister. We have platonic like for Fern Star. Pretty much everybody we like. I'm trying to see if we disliked anyone, but I don't think we do. A little bit for Clove Kit. Clove Kit has been causing us a few issues, but barely, just barely. So Honeytail is just the most loving little queen ever. And I cannot wait to continue her in the next episode. I hope you liked this episode. If you did, tickle and poke that like button, subscribe to join our family if you haven't already, and jingle the bell to get notified for the next Life Gen episode. I love you guys. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time for more Life Gen. Bye.